of all the uh, i think uh, good morning and a warm namaskar for from your moderator on behalf of the asia pacific evaluation association evaluate movement evaluate asia and all the partner organizations i welcome you all to the third asia pacific virtual winter school uh, this is the third year we are organizing this winter school for uh, capacity building uh, of our young and emerging evaluators uh, request all of you to mute yourself rename with the with the instructions that is given on your screen and what we'll do is we'll start today's if, if it, it's a three day winter school what we'll do is we'll start with the opening ceremony uh, and then proceed on to our session one at 9 30. i think with all this i think i think we'll move to the next slides uh, as you can see from 8th 9th and 10th december we will meet here for three hours each day and attend few sessions and, and look forward for the enriching learning experience. Uh, I am Umesh Jadha. Uh, I am a co-leader of Evaluate India and I will be the moderator for the winter school for the next three days. Uh, for the opening ceremony, uh, we have with us uh, all the esteemed uh, dignitaries. I will introduce the dignitaries one by one now. Uh, we are having Dr. Asela uh, Kalu Gamatpriya today. Uh, Dr. Asela is the president of Asia Pacific Evaluation Association and he's also uh, uh, a mentor to all the young and evalu emerging evaluators in the region uh, across the globe. Uh, we also have, we'll also have uh, Randika with us today. He is a co-leader of Evaluate Asia. Uh, he is also manager at Eval Asia Pacific Evaluation Association. We will be having uh, Marco with us virtually. I think uh, uh, I think we have Gabriela Rentaria, uh, who is chair of Evaluate Global Network, with us today uh, for the opening ceremony, and. Uh, I think I missed. And we will have Marco Segone, who is the director at UNFPA Evaluation Office, uh, virtually joining us and sharing us his uh, messages for the opening ceremony. I think uh, with that, I will now invite Dr. Asela uh, for his opening remarks. Uh, thank you, Umesh. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, uh, everyone. Uh, and uh, welcome to the uh, Winter School, Asia Pacific Winter School for Young and Emerging Evaluators uh, 2022. This is the third time we are organizing this uh, Winter School very successfully, consecutively every year. Uh, I must say, uh, Asia Pacific Winter School for Young and Emerging Evaluators is an opportunity for young and uh, actually young professionals to enter the monitoring and evaluation field. Uh, secondly, learn uh, technical aspects about monitoring and evaluation. Thirdly, expand the uh, network with other uh, professionals, uh, senior evaluators, as well as other young professionals in the region and the beyond. Uh, and also to learn about uh, the profession and how to uh, improve the profession. So there are many aspects to this. At the same time, uh, we are also looking at this uh, from the professionalization angle. Uh, this is a pathway to professionalize evaluation in the region as well, because many young and uh, emerging evaluators or young professionals enter into the monitoring and evaluation field, uh, have, uh, you know, get the knowledge as well as the experience. Uh, I must say, uh, we have a great team organizing this uh, winter school. Uh, for young and emerging evaluators. Uh, this is the third time as mentioned, and this time Asia Pacific Evaluation Association uh, is happy to sponsor this uh, winter school. Uh, that is also uh, a great success uh, for this year. And uh, winter school is planned, organized, and implemented by young and emerging evaluators, for young and emerging evaluators. That is the beauty of this. Uh, 
I must uh, mention uh, Tarshan for taking the lead and you know doing hard work together with Umesh, a wonderful moderator. And there is you know big team behind uh, uh, this organizing and uh, putting their hard work on this. I am not you know mentioning uh, individual names, but uh, thanks to all of them. A uh, lot of hard work behind the scenes. Uh, you all get this uh, opportunity to attend the winter school, and also we have, you know, uh, uh, a great team of speakers for these uh, three days. And uh, I hope it will be a good experience for everyone. Thank you, and all the best for the winter school. Thank you so much, Asela, uh, for those encouraging words. I think before we move to the next. Uh, speaker of the welcome ceremony, I request all the participants to also introduce themselves uh, with their name and where they are joining us in the chat box and also maybe share with us what is the one uh, thing uh, that that excites them about winter school. Uh, it will be interesting to see uh, where are all the participants joining. We know for the fact that all the confirmed participants are joining from 30 various countries in the Asia-Pacific region across the globe. So it will be really good to see uh, your messages introducing yourself, where are you from, and what is the one thing that excites you. I think we'll move to our next speaker for the opening ceremony. Um, and I invite now Randika to uh, give his opening messages. Uh, thank you, Mesh. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, so welcome to the third Asia-Pacific Virtual Evaluation Winter School for Young and Emerging Evaluators. Uh, the Winter School is one of the flagship events of Evaluate Asia, along with APIA and its partners. And for this Winter School, we thank uh, Asia-Pacific Evaluation Association uh, for sponsoring the event. Uh, so, a little bit about Evaluate Asia. Evaluate Asia aims to create a strong network of YEs from the Asia Pacific region, engage with them, and launch in initiatives to support networking, capacity building, and representation of young and emerging evaluators in the regional and global evaluation platforms. Currently, Evaluate Asia has around 220 members from 33 countries. Around 90 YEs so far have completed the winter school, and some of them have gone to become leaders in the evaluation field in the region. Few of the alumni started Evaluate chapters in their countries, and uh, our moderator today, Umesh, is one of the alumni, and he was uh, part of the first winter school. Uh, so the winter school, the main purpose is to provide opportunity for YEs in Asia Pacific to become competent, experienced, and well networked professionals who contribute to evaluation capacity at national, regional, and international levels. And the Winter School is also part of the Asia Pacific Regional Evaluation Strategy developed by APIA. As you know, currently our world is facing pressing issues such as income inequality, poverty, war, climate change, and racial injustices. As YEs, we need to use evaluation to bring about social change in order to improve the lives of people. I personally first learned about evaluation when I was volunteering as an international caseworker at the American Red Cross, working with refugees that had been relocated to the US. I saw that evaluation can be a powerful tool to improve programs and to cater for the needs of beneficiaries. And this led me to learn more about the evaluation field through courses and various trainings, because I wanted to help organizations manage their programs effectively and efficiently in a way that benefits their targeted communities. I hope all of you attending today use this training to enhance your knowledge on the evaluation field and use it in your professional work in order to bring about change in your communities and countries. Finally, I hope all the part of the participants have a good learning experience during the next three days during the winter school. Wish you all the best in your careers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rendika. I think uh, uh, th this was really uh, inspired us and then also your journey is so enriching and learning experience for us. I now request the production team to share with us 
Marco's uh, Marco's video message to us due to some timing commitments. He would not able to join us, but he has sent a video message for us. Sir. So requesting the team to share the video message from Marco Sagon, who is the director at evaluation office at UNFPA. Uh, Umesh, uh, can you stop sharing your screen? Stop sharing. Yeah, yeah. Friends and colleagues, I'm delighted to join you at the launch of the third Asia Pacific Evaluation Winter School for young and emerging evaluators. Last month, the population of our beloved planet reached 8 billion. There are over 1.8 billion young people in the world today, with 90% of them living in developing countries, where they are a large proportion of the population. How can we transform this milestone for humanity into possibilities for growth, peace and prosperity, despite our global challenges, so that all of us thrive equally and no one is left behind. A key transformative solution is to engage youth in all spheres, including evaluation. However, to authentically engage youth in evaluation, all stakeholders must prioritize investments in building the capacities of youth in evaluation. The Winter School is a step in this direction. It develops the m and capacities of youth and further prioritize evaluation in the region and beyond. Through the participation in the Winter School, you will increase your competencies in evaluation and also broaden your networks. This initiative is also aligned with the spirit of the Youth in Evaluation Manifesto, which has over 500 signatories today, including multilateral organizations like the United Nations, the World Bank, the African Bank, the Asian Bank, but also universities and governments. I invite all young people, resource persons and partners to sign the manifesto at evalforaction.org. By signing the manifesto, you will make a public de declaration of your commitment to action to meaningfully engage youth and young evaluators in evaluation. My best wishes to all young people at this winter school for a successful course and a fulfilling career in evaluation. Finally, I commend APIA for its ongoing sponsorship of the winter school. My congratulations also to Evalues Asia, other Evalues chapters, National VOPE, and partners for organizing this initiative. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I think we will now uh, request our next speaker, uh, uh, Gabriela Rentaria, who is Chair of Evel Youth Global Network, to deliver her opening remarks. Over to you, Gabriela. Thank you. Thank you much. Thank you for, to everyone for the invitation. Good morning to all of you. Good evening from here in Mexico. Uh, for me, it's an honor to be here today in this third uh, launch of the Winter School. Uh, in this third edition, I'm really happy to be here and honored because, as you know, Evil Youth in general, eh, as Randika just mentioned, has one overarching goal that is to promote young and emerging evaluators to become technically sound, experienced, and well networked professionals who can contribute to evaluation at different levels. In this, we have like three main components. One is to become technically sound, another one is experience. Like once young and emerging evaluators learn, then they need to be exposed to the to experience uh, real evaluation cases and well network professionals to advance their career. Opportunities like this winter school achieve exactly that goal as it provides young and emerging evaluators the tools to acquire technical skills and also to connect with other colleagues. 
to all the participants in this winter school, learn and take as much as you can from opportunities like this, as these are invaluable. Take this great opportunity as a chance to advance your career, to keep preparing yourselves to face the challenges the future brings. As evaluators, we need to adapt to a different context, understanding and having the right tools. So we must be forever learner, learners and always be open to new ideas and challenge ourselves in what we believe and what are the right tools to do our work. For this, I recommend you to keep preparing yourselves all the time, to connect also in these open spaces with people like you, but also to people, to be open to be questioned by other people that might not think like you and find a common ground in order to contribute not only to your careers, but also to evaluation in general. I am using this Zoom background because as Asela just mentioned and Marco just mentioned, I would like to invite you to join the Youth in Evaluation Initiative that urged the global evaluation community to commit to concrete actions towards long-term, sustainable and meaningful engagement of youth and young and emerging evaluators in evaluation. Next year, we will have the Youth in Evaluation Week. So I hope that the opportunities to connect with other colleagues like this winter school bring many initiatives that can be part of Youth in Evaluation Week. And maybe also these opportunities to connect with colleagues and peers, as Randika mentioned, can bring new evil youth chapters. Take all of these networks and advance your career. Contribute to evaluation and to the society in your region, but also worldwide. And finally, I would like just to congratulate all the participants for being selected for take and uh, take advantage of this great opportunity. And yeah, finally, I would like to thank all the team who made possible this incredible learning opportunity. As Asala just mentioned, it is a great winter school that is organized and prepared by young and emerging elevators for young and emerging elevators. And this is really invaluable. Thanks everyone for like the invitation tonight's invitation and yeah, hope you have a fruitful winter school in the coming days. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, uh, I think with, with, with this encouraging messages to start uh, the winter school, I think what we'll do today is I'll briefly share what is the objective for us uh, for the next three days. Uh, what we'll be doing here is largely engaging in the in the enhancing knowledge and skill of all the YEs in monitoring evaluation and eventually how this contributes into achieving the sustainable development goals that we have set for all of the world. Uh, by 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 knowledge and skills, we mean how this competency of monitoring and evaluation and the tools that are needed for uh, you to become a contributor, a practitioner, and eventually that will help you in the career development of the young and emerging evaluator. Uh, we, we expect that all the participants who, who learn these tools from the winter school eventually contribute back into their respective works and that, that the, the knowledge is useful in their work, in the, in the communities that they work, in the organization that they work. And uh, through this I gathering, long, long bear. Yeah, request, request participants to mute themselves. Yeah, through this gathering, we in a way also uh, reaching out to all the young evaluators and connecting them to the respective networks. Uh, AYE networks, second, their national networks, Evaluate networks, so that together we can contribute back into um, to the society and to the betterment of the domain in general. Uh, the agenda for the program, as you all know, is very clear. We will have here six sessions and um, and request again you all to follow the instructions. Uh, we will keep for the most of the time of this event, we'll keep ourselves on mute. You can switch off your videos, but we will be needing to switch on the videos for better engagement whenever needed. Uh, it is mandatory for all the participants to attend the entire 
three days, attend all six sessions fully to get your certificate. Um, if you, I think it will be good uh, for you. So all the sessions are very exciting. They are diverse and they are enriching. So expect you all you to complete that entire winter school for, and you will get that certificate. Also request everybody to, uh, if you have any questions, you can use the chat box uh, and one of our organizing team, one of our production team will reach out to you and try to solve that. Uh, during the session also, each session will have uh, some question breaks. During session also, you will get time to ask your question. I think we can use the chat box and in the end, if, if that is not catered, um, I will ask you to unmute and ask this question. But uh, during the entire winter school, if you need any tech support, you can use the chat box and let us know. So I think with that, I think uh, what we'll have is, uh, we'll have all of you and we have prepared a small um, small video uh, for all of you, the participants of the winter school. So request the, uh, request the team to share the video with us. Yeah, uh, give me a minute. No problem. You are muted, Umesh. Yeah, yeah. I think that is so warm. And I think it's very interesting to see all the participants uh, who joined us today. Uh, let me share my screen again. And we will request everybody to switch on their screen um, for, for a group photo of this event. What we'll do is we'll, we'll take a group photo and we, then we'll move on to our first session of the day. Uh, request everybody to switch on their videos and let us kickstart this winter school by taking a group good photo because ideally we would want to organize such a learning session in person but because of the covid and because of the logistical reason um, this is the best way we can see each other so I request everybody to switch on their videos we'll take a group photo and then move to our first session of the winter school Uh, requesting the team to confirm when the photo is done. Uh, thank you so much for joining in all the speakers and also all the participants for taking out the time, looking really forward for the session. Uh, done, Umesh. Thank you, everyone. Right? Thank you. Okay, I think great. I think with that, I think we will be now segueing into our first session of the day. And I am really glad um, to welcome uh, our first speaker of resource person of the day, um, uh, Dr. Sham Singh. He will be talking with us on introduction to monitoring and evaluation the domain um, it's my 